This semester, we have focused on the transfer of energy to do work. Uh, some of the main features that we've been studying are heat engines, refrigerators, and heat pumps. The topic I cover in this video will help us better understand these processes, among others, in this crazy world of thermodynamics. In this video, I'm going to introduce a new topic called exergy. We're going to get back to playing with these Power Rangers and this heat engine example. Uh, but first off, let me give you the background of what exergy really is. It's useful to know the maximum potential work that you can get from an energy source. So the property that we use to measure this is called exergy. Exergy is the maximum amount of work you can get uh, out of a out of a work device or something uh, as it goes from a specified initial state to its dead state. Now its dead state is when it is in thermo thermodynamic equilibrium with its system and it's no longer interacting. It's at the same pressure, same temperature. Um, there's no chemical interactions with it. When you get down to the nuts and bolts of exergy what it is is an upper limit on the amount of work a device can deliver without violating any of the thermodynamic laws. And this allows for uh, improvement on all these devices because there will always be a difference between the exergy of a work device and the actual output of a work device. We need to know a few different things other than exergy to make it a useful tool for us. Two valuable tools that come from exer exergy is reversible work and irreversibilities. Irreversibilities are the measure of exergy destruction. An example of, ir of an irreversibility is something like friction. We know that reversible work is the maximum work that can be produced between two states. If we know the actual work output of our device and the reversible work output, then we can find the irreversibility of the process. In, the, in a reversible process, the irreversibility is zero because no entropy is generated. So by subtracting our actual work output from the reversible work output, we get the amount of irreversibility in our process. This allows us to see how much of the available work we are actually using and how much our device can improve its efficiency. So let's look at an example of this. We're going to find the rate of irreversibility of a heat, of a heat engine. So what we have here is a heat engine. If I can get this paper to stay up heat engine with a hot reservoir at 1500 Kelvin and a cold reservoir at 300 Kelvin. We're going to use the big Power Rangers because we'll be working in kilowatts as our heat transfer and work output for a reversible process and the small ones the work output, heat input for an actual process will be used. So the reason we're using a big power ranger for the uh, reversible work output is because this is the maximum output that we can get. This is if we have all of our if we use all of our exergy this is what we'll get and but in an actual process we're always going to get less than that amount. So in our heat engine we're given that the that this little blue Power Ranger is the actual work output that we are that we're getting out of the heat engine. What we're trying to calculate is the rate of irreversibility. So the first thing we need to calculate is the uh, maximum theoretical efficiency, which is what we can do with these two temperatures. Once we find that, we know the rate of that the rate of heat being transferred into our heat engine we can multiply our rate of heat transfer into the system by the maximum theoretical efficiency and it will give us our work output for a reversible process which in this case would be 
the big blue Power Ranger because this is the maximum work output we could get. So once we have our maximum work output that we could theoretically get in our actual work output, all we have to do is subtract the big blue Power Ranger from the little blue Power Ranger and it will give us our irreversibility which is our destruction of exergy. So um, in real life, you know, you can do this with numbers and stuff, but uh, hopefully you got something out of, you know, me using Power Rangers and uh, you'll always remember when you try to calculate the irreversibility, you'll remember little blue Power Rangers and red Power Rangers. And that's all I have to say about exergy.